lesson three of uh, HTML on web design, you can see there are some of the information you need to know. First is about how you can create a registration form uh, for sign up uh, where using HTML program. In this case, what you need to know is to know how to code, how to do some codings. First, you need to go to HTML. With this HTML, you can see we have this language. The title here we have to put the register, then you can put the, the, the hyphen, then you put now the name of our website, which is Search and Web Experts Kenya. Uh, in this case, you can relate some of the info, crucial information. For example, we have the domain, uh, we have training, we have web hosting, among the rest. You can come here. For this one, you can see we have, we have the coding for this table width. This table width up to there. It show that um, when you create table width of 50%, it means your table will be half of your page, which is 50% of your page because page sum up to 100%. We have the table row. This table row it means that in your table you can you have the rows and columns. In one uh, row we have uh, you can have a couple of columns. It means that. Uh, you can have one row, but you cannot have one column. It means a columns, it requires to be a several of them. In this case, it means that you can get a several columns, but one row. In this case, uh, we have this one is table row, and this one is a table data. Table data, which stands for the columns in this case. Uh, we have the horizontal rule. This coding you can see here, HR, to represent the horizontal rule. In this horizontal rule, you can see it's for this line. You can see here, I'm pointing this line. This is the one which is called a horizontal rule. Uh, from there, we have the um, this background color. You can see this coding here, the table data background color is equals in quotes. Uh, gold uh, then you close that with the greater than sign this coding as you can see here to this coding that will will enable to put this bag of color which you can see here is a gold color this is the one you have to put in the table data bag of color gold then after that you have to put now the heading uh, from there you can now put your, your heading here which is now you can see is about um, welcome to this you can see we have the um, the font color which is hash uh, 3399ff it means that is the color that you can put for that one uh, in this case we will present this color you can see here which is a bit light cyan this is the the color we are talking about which is represented by 3399ff uh, for this which one they are called hexa Hexa code colors. It means hexa code colors. You can put different colors starting from 0, 3, 9, then you can put uh, A, B, C, D up to F. It means 4, 6, F represent white and 0 represent black, which is 6, 0 represent black. You have those hexa code colors, which are a variety of them you can put. We have this face. Uh, Cooper SED that is this font face as uh, you can see this font face are uh, different from this this one is the one which is called the Cooper STD as uh, the font face uh, we have now the registration and you can just go up to the head there and now you can come here and close your font and you close H1 appearance and you have to close the head. It means this one. You can see the heading appearance here, which is H2. It means, for example, if I put H1, it means to be bigger in size. While I put H6 to be smaller in size. That's how you work on that one to be this size. You can see which is a bit bigger compared to these others. When you are through with your table, you have to close the table. And you close the table row and you have to close the table itself. Then you can put another horizontal rule whereby this now is the horizontal rule for this bottom you can see here. 
we have the body here whereby the bug the the body uh, here you can see and you have now the form this form it started it start here we have the field set and you have the rigid this legend here you can see here this is the coding for the legend and this code for the legend which is uh, we have the legend we have new member join us today with new is stay with uh, with few steps with few easy steps and you have to close the legend for this one represent this you can see here this content which you can see here up to here this is the content which you have to be uh, in this uh, you can see there is a between this line you can see here which is like a box this one is to help to put that legend then you have to put the paragraph to create a small space here and after paragraph for this one uh, then you can have the first uh, name and you have the input type text we have comma we have the maximum length which is 12 first uh, 12 and you have the size of 25 it means uh, this it is this content I can type here for example if I click there I can just come here I put uh, it is 12 it means uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so it means I cannot type any more content there you cannot type any more content because it is 12 in uh, the maximum length of the content here can be only 12 you cannot go beyond that that is about the maximum length the size of the box from here up to here it is the one which is called 25 in size and now you can put your own content from there in this case you can just click there that is now the about the the size of the box which is now the text box for this one it represent a space you can see this space between here and here it is the one which is being represented with this code this code which is uh, and nbsp is the one which represent a space it means you can put two of them to create more space for that and now we have the last name last name whereby it have the same uh, for this one it is called line break this line break uh, it is enable you to put now it's like when you are in the first sentence you want to go to the second sentence you can press enter uh, but in this case you need to use a line break to separate the first sentence and the second sentence or the first uh, line of the drawing uh, to the second one that is where you want to put a uh, line break for that gender we have now the gender whereby in this gender we have see we have this button for male and you have this button for female one thing you need to realize is that should be op uh, this is uh, uh, option button it means option button you have no otherwise either you have to be male or female it means for this one you have to be very sensitive when you are putting that when you put input type here by this is the code for male and this is the code for female it means those are two main codes which these two code is the one which bring this one for male and this one for female let's try to look that should be unique it means once you have to be female once you come to here for male it automatically deselect for male uh, for female and select male you click the same you see it deselect the other one when you see all of them are being selected it means you have done this a certain mess in this and that's why you should make sure that the gender name should be it should be gender uh, then from there now you can put a space this is uh, the one for space and you can put male or female we have this one for paragraphing you can still put the paragraph this is the code for paragraph uh, now let's come to the date of birth whereby we have something called drop down list this one called a text box this one is option button this one is drop down list as you can see here once you click there you select a couple of months you can see up to the August there it was incomplete uh, for this but you can complete up to the last one which is December uh, we have the days here whereby you can still go from 01 up to 31st but you can see still you have tried to you know some of them because of time 
but uh, in this case you can just type all of them to complete uh, here from 1970 you can go up to 2018 which is the current uh, date for this uh, those are those are the ones which are called the drop down list whereby you have to click and select one option among many so let's go to the coding this coding to put for example for the month it means you have to start with something called select this code for select uh, you put like that one then from there you can come here you put now option value is equals in quotes month and now you put the first which is now the month just put this into calibris once you put into calibris uh, then from there you can just copy paste the list you can just go and copy paste the list so that once you copy paste the list for this for example here you can ha I have a variety of them for example I need up to four those are three months I need four of them I can just come here I just highlight then I right click I just go to copy and I click there I click there then I do some paste so I just click paste once I paste you can see now we have variety of months which are being repeated I can come here and now I change this one to be uh, September so that they can complete the month which was remaining and in complete uh, so that they can have a free good version for this and now I can just continue putting like that one up to the up to the end of my work which is now December it is now the end of that December once you put all those months like that one you need to go either you press ctrl s in the keyboard um ctrl s in the keyboard or place uh, you can just go to f to file and click save ctrl s for save once you save then you have to click there and you do refreshment here just click reload or just press f5 uh, one thing realize is that once you click there now you can see we have all the months up to december that is how you put that one and you just click and save I do the rest the same way you can see now here when you are through you have to make sure that you close the option only don't close option option variable just close option and you close the select then I put the list for days it means you do the same you have the select option value then you put day and you put zero one and you can just copy paste and keep putting the list up to the end so that you can go to the 31st which is now the end of the month the end of the biggest month of the year uh, uh, in the year so that means um, some months are short some months are big but uh, mostly you make sure that uh, you just put up to the 31st you call the option value and select the same time and now you work on that one these the four years as you can see all this coding here up to the up to there those are the coding for years now that is the coding for years and once i'm through i can just put a horizontal rule this horizontal rule is this now right you can see here which is drawn there in case i need to make sure that i put a different color for this one i can just put a hr uh, here then i put space then I can put uh, color, I can put is equals, I put quotes, then I can put hash, then I put 66 uh, ff, I can put ee. Then from there, I can come here, I click just save, and I come here, just refresh. You can see now that size of that have changed have changed for that one and now that you can see because I've changed uh, something else you should try to look at uh, in case you have made a mistake on that in case uh, for example uh, you have done a single mistake for this you can just try to see whether it is being done in the right way for the countries or not uh, in case you can see there is a mistake just try to 
rectify all the mistakes to avoid any single problem for that to me that is how we should work on that one and in case you have done a mistake you can just try to undo a little bit there also try to do a little bit there try to do it again uh, and see now it how it is coming just uh, like that one just try to undo and save so say we come here and then you refresh see how it look like as for that one now you can see that is how you put that uh, shape for that one and how you put now the color we have this one you have said for this one you just come here you put a uh, space you can just for example if here is for the nationality you can just put a line break yeah. and you can come here you put now the color the course and of course when you put hash uh, you have six six f f and you can put now a a and from there you come put the course codes and now save once you save you can put a comma space and put size of that to be for example you can put three and save and you come here you can see now the the line of that one which is now have a different color for that that is how you put the color and now after putting now that color you can see the nationality if you use the same criteria for that uh, for that drop down list because all of them are just drop down list the criteria are almost the same only the content changes for between the date of birth and the nationality they just change that one but now from there from there the mobile the mobile number they mean that the text box so that means somebody should come and type the number the phone number and um, that is why you can see we have the space i remember saying this code is about the space this is a mobile number and this code is for the text box up to there that is the code for this text box you can see here the one i'm pointing here this one is the one which is now represented by this coding i have highlighted here this is for the email uh, for that email you can see they have the same same text box uh the same same text box as you can see there only maybe the maximum length changes and maybe the size of the box then you have the content there then the other coding here is for the password uh, for the password you can see the coding have changed a little bit because the other one was here it was just a text like this one but here it is password so that they can bring the change now uh, then all these are just spaces uh, one thing should come here see once i click there i type for example uh, kenya you can see it is giving you just dot are together you do the same I just type the word green and you can see any word I just type for example such a uh, web experts you can see and you have some limits that means you cannot type anymore you have the maximum limit for that uh, for the rest you can see here for the security questions it just all the same because they are just dropped on list here we have all this in case you forgot the password or the, you have to have all cover email it means there is a code for this all those codes are the one represented by this box you can see here security quiz this security quiz here and this box this is the main coding for this it means you just click there now you can see those questions uh, those questions are the ones which as you can see now here have been presented all of them here uh, from the first question up to the rest you can see all those questions and now once you choose for example the best musician name you can come here and now you type 
example re uh, you have the re uh, vani the vani for example that is your base base name then you have to come here you can just come here and type what you want to describe yourself example uh, um, um, Padre believe in my in myself for example like that one and now I can come here I agree the terms this one is called a text area and this one it is the checkbox it means according for the text area there you can see this is now the main coding for the text area up to up to there is the coding for this is the coding for this while the coding for this which is now checked one it means there is a coding for that uh, up to there this coding this one is the coding which you present only this checkbox from there we have something called we have something called submit button and in this submit button you can see we have uh, create new account and now we have the rest which is now the this coding for submit uh, cancel this for this cancel and the other coding here it is for the the coding for the create account those two of them you can see uh, just here down uh, here you can see we have those coding there which is now this is the coding this for the button this for the button for kitchen account this for the council this is the coding for create and the other one for cancel is here that's how you can see all those are the, ma the main coding and that is how simple you can create your registration form using HTML just simple coding and you end up getting what you want without no problem you can go to view page source and you can see those coding which are here they are being mostly highlighted with a different color all those just a different coding there and you can just enjoy seeing those coding there which of different colors and you can see how they have been repeated of them those are the codes of different one after the ad all oh, these one are the main coding uh, these are the main coding for that just HTML page it is as simple as that you can see you can just create very simply and enjoy your page without no problem you can enjoy your your registration page in a very simpler manner thank you and continue subscribing our tutorial downloads on youtube youtube channel and tutorial downloads to instagram uh, we have uh, such in kenya for facebook page and on twitter we have tutorial underscore kenya you can just subscribe and get more information about our tutorial downloads and learn with us for this journey of ict information communication technology and get enjoyed and learn more with us thank you and enjoy us uh, your, your good time as you listen to the fourth lesson of html this is that lesson continue learning more with us